Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day. So hey, I'm gonna make something really quick and easy. I know it's hot everywhere, right? So it's summertime, um, so I really wanted to do something uh, quick and easy for the summer, something that I think you'll really enjoy. Um, hey, if you're a new subscriber, welcome. Um, hope you enjoy the, the content and uh, let me know uh, what you your, have interest in, what you'd like to see. Um, I really appreciate it. The guys that are returning, the same thing. Hey, if you're new, please, please, please hit that thumbs up button. That really helps out the channel out a lot. Um, I really like the community. Anything I can do for you um, to make the channel better, you let me know, and I will certainly work on it um, because uh, I'd like to, to make you happy so that you keep coming back. Um, I really like the community. Um, good interaction. Uh, I'd like to continue to grow it. So uh, it helps me stay on track. Um, it helps me continue to, uh, to stay on my keto journey. Um, just a little bit of information so you don't if you don't know um, I started this keto journey about a little over three years ago now for me um, Been uh, been pretty successful. At it. I mean, there's a lot of ups and downs everybody has up and down But the positive side of it is it's, it's been working out well. I went to the doctors back I don't know October of uh, November time frame of 2017 the doctor told me I was obese and I needed it was gonna have to start taking probably sugar diabetes medicine and I was gonna have to take high blood pressure medicine and he suggested for me to go on the ketogenic diet so uh, gave me some information about it told me to go look on the internet look at some good sources um, so I did that um, have been doing it ever since again I've had my ups and downs um, but uh, I learned a lot, um, still learning a lot. Uh, I learn a lot from you guys. Again, I'm not, so, I'm not a chef. I'm just some hack in the kitchen, I'm learning to try to cook, um, to try to make my world a little easier and a little better. Um, and hopefully uh, I, I can share some of that knowledge with you, as well as some of the things I've learned over the years, as well as I'm hoping that you'll teach me, because uh, boy, can I use some, uh, some learning, right? So. Um, I'm always looking for new things, exciting things, um, new information. Um, so please, 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 uh, you know, let me know. <clears throat> enough said. Enough of me talking, right? Um, so today I'm going to do something really, really quick and easy to show you. It's, it's a five-ingredient recipe, uh, and we're going to make some fat bombs. So if you watched my jump into summer, you would saw that one of the things I thought I was lacking in last week was the uh, fat. So I missed my fat content. Uh, quite a few number of days went over my protein um, So I thought I would try to increase my fat. So that's what I'm working on this week One of the favorite things I love to have in my summer in the summertime in my freezer are fat bombs, right? <clears throat> um, I really like fat bombs. I make them in several different varieties um, This one I've made before but it made it in a very different different uh, different uh, different type so I made a, 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 a strawberry um, fat bomb this is a uh, a strawberry cream cheese fat bomb so it's different uh, different ingredients with the exception of the cream cheese um, so we're gonna make that so I'm gonna point the camera down here I'll show you what I'm gonna make we're gonna do this real easy really fast um, there's no oven involved so just a little mixer um, I did prepare some of the ingredients already so you wouldn't have to see me do that um, so I'm gonna point the camera down here so you can see the food not me Hopefully that's good. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to mix in here. I got I got here in this. I got uh, I got six ounces of cream cheese in here. I'm going to dump that in here. This is at room temperature so that we can mush it up pretty good. Um, I got uh, two tablespoons of uh, allulose that I'm going to put in here. So um, so a little something different. Uh, if you haven't seen the allulose, that's what allulose is. It's a different type. Um, I got. Two, uh, four tablespoons of uh, melted butter I'm going to add in to this. I got two tablespoons of lemon juice I'm going to put into this. So I'm just dumping everything that's in here to mix it in. And of course, the best ingredient and the one that's going to give it the most flavor right here. I got about three quarters of a cup of strawberries here. So I did grind them up and perriate them. And so I'm going to dump all that in there. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy mixer. And then we're going to mix it all 
all together. See what this looks like. So that looks pretty good. So what we're going to do after this is we're going to take. I have a uh, I have a mold that I'm going to put them in. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it into the mold. Uh, let me get some things out of the way here. You can also throw this into a food processor if you want um, and kind of. Uh, Blend it up in the food processor if you want. Um, whatever is easier for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop this out and put this into the mold and fill up the little mold. You see what's going on here with the mold. I've opened. <laughs> now once we get this into the mold, what we're going to do is we're going to take it, we're going to stick it in the freezer, let it sit for about an hour, and we'll pop them out of the mold. down some on the side now again like I said this is uh, really good there um, I try to get my fat content in every day for me, it's pretty easy to get my protein in, it seems like, but the fat is the hardest part for me. So the Bulletproof coffee in the morning helps, and then again, then I kind of go over them, try to get them nice so they're cubes, and I try to push them into So that gave me uh, four. So that gave me about 18 fat bombs. So all there is is some. Um, mmm, that tastes really good. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this in the freezer. Um, I don't know if you really want to see my freezer, but I'll show you the freezer. Uh, and. We'll come back in an hour 
Um, one of the things I do do is I put them in a tray because these these molds are really really pliable and they bend. So I put them in a tray. I can sit them in here. Just slide the door closed. Um, so we'll come back in an hour, um, do a tape test, give me a chance to clean the place up a little bit, um, and we'll go through the macros then. All right. Um, again, quick and easy. Talk to you in a minute. Hey everybody, we're back. Um, I'm going to show you what the uh, what they look like. Um, these are the the strawberry fat bombs. Um, kind of look down here. You can kind of see what they look like. Um, I pop one out. So uh, hopefully you can see that. So they're nice little squares, like an ice cube size. Um, Still a little soft, but definitely really, uh, really, really tasty. You know, the strawberry and the lemon really have a nice mixture between the two of them. Mm -mm -mm. Those are some good. I'll tell you, these are, fat bombs are one of my favorite things, so it's a great, great replacement if you're, uh, <clears throat> you're like me and you love ice cream and you'll eat a ton of it if it's available. Instead, you just take one or two of these and eat them, cures your sat satisfaction, yeah, cures your sat, your, cures your craving, <laughs> let's put it that way, <laughs> sorry about that, it, it's a late evening now. Um, I did let these sit in the freezer for about two hours. They're still so soft, so I'm going to put them back in for another hour after we're, we're done here and let them firm up before I take them out. I will take them out, put them in bag, and put them in a the freezer. And like I said, when I'm a little bit low on uh, my fat content for the day, I'll pop a couple of these and I have the carbs left. So go through the macros on these. So each one of these is about uh, 50 calories, so not too many calories in it. Um, the protein is about 0.75. Um, so not a lot of protein in it. <clears throat> Total carbs is 1.25, so one and a quarter. Um, call them at one, I guess. Um, fiber in it is about a quarter. So net carbs are one. So if you're doing net carbs, it's one. And fat is about five grams. So, so not too bad. So you eat a couple of these, you need that 10, 15 grams of uh, fat boost in you. Um, they're, uh, they're a good little treat. Um, I really, really like them. They're, like I say, they're a perfect little thing where you just pop one out, eat it. Really, really good. So, talk with my mouthful. Um, so, hopefully, uh, hopefully, you try it out. Tell me what you think. It has a nice tart taste to it from the lemon juice that I put in it. Uh, mixed in with the uh, with the strawberries. It's nice um, Hey, hopefully you like the stuff uh, again Subscribe down below that little bell icon thumbs up are probably the most important thing. So hey, you know, I'm here for you Hopefully you're learning a lot. Hopefully uh, if you're wanting to lose weight and you want to get into shape um, Hopefully the content will help you do that. It's helped a lot for me um, Just trying to pass that knowledge on so again thumbs up Hey, remember you guys are awesome, and we will see you next time.